Hey, Laura. Hey, Marissa. What time is it? It's Divine Mother Earth time. Oh, and do we have a Divine Mother today? That's oh, right. Yeah. Our good, good friend, Dr. Charnel, is here with us today. I'm so excited to talk with you. So it's so excited. wonderful to have you here. We're going to dive into so much. And uh, anybody who's not familiar with who Dr. Charnel is, she is so many things. She's a naturopathic doctor. She's an author of an amazing book about manifesting miracles in our lives. And she does an incredible show with uh, Craig Walker and uh, hosts uh, a, a, an incredible platform and brings on so many amazing people. And you're a mother of four kids? Five. Five. Oh my gosh. And wow, you've just been producing so much incredible content. And you even have a a, a crystal deck. I do. Yeah. So card deck. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yes. Lots of stuff. All the fun things. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for letting me be here with you guys. Oh, we're so happy to have you. We can't wait to talk about miracles. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. I love miracles. That's my jam. <laughs> and you, yeah. I mean, I, and you were telling us about some cr incredible, incredible stories and we can't, cannot wait to jump in. So, uh, yeah, like, where do we even start? We've got, there's so much about you that it's like, I mean, I think we could spend days talking to you really, <laughs> but for starters, you're doing a global meta walk tomorrow. Do you want to tell us about that? Absolutely. So I've been working a lot with um, David Oates. I don't know if you're familiar with David. He does a lot of reverse speech um, therapy. Um, he's been, he's got 40 years of research um, where he's not worked, not only worked with people individually, but he'll go and find um, snippets of like interviews with musicians, actresses, actors, you know, producers, um, po politics stuff, and basically does the reverse recording and plays it backwards. And he's like found out that um, your subconscious will speak backwards while we speak forward. So I could be saying, you know, hi, how are you? But backwards, I could be saying like, uh, I really want to go get a coffee or something like that. And so we can all, you know, our language is so multidimensional, just like body language and frequency and all of that. So people can actually be having conversations like us all talking one way. And if we played it all backwards, we might actually be having and answering questions back and forth and talking and having a whole different conversation backwards um, on another topic or multiple topics. Wow. Wow, that's yeah. so fascinating. I've never, I mean, I've heard about like recording, um, going backwards, you know, with the whole Beatles, I very yeah. cool thing, but yeah. this is totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that's an example. Nice. When I was working with, when he was working with me, um, uh, you know, he, I, I used to remember if I was saying like, should I go do this modality with my health or this? And then it came back and said, um, it was something to do with my hips and like, I, and I'm the one who said it backwards. And then let, I go to the doctor like the next day and they were like, Oh, it's something with the hips. And I'm like, wow, that's weird. Uh, I was trying to figure out like going home to an integrated, what should I go to this integrative medicine thing for animals or not? And if I did, where do I fly in and la la la. And it, everything backwards was like, this is your life force. Every time I talk about animals, it was, this is your life force. Meaning this is your jam. This is your pocket. And, um, and then when I was like, should I fly into Seattle or Montana? Um, I could do this, that I could, these layovers da, 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 da. and it came back. I am so homesick. I am so homesick. So I was like, well, there you go. I'm going to fly to Montana. So, I mean, just weird stuff. But anyway, he just done a collective consciousness, um, recordings, many, many, many of them. And he found out what the consciousness was saying, is number one, there is a witch in the whirlwind. And the whirlwind is the biofield or the Schumann or the electric belt of the earth. Wow. And if there is a witch and or control manipulation in the whirlwind of the earth, mm -hmm. then guess what? We can import or impart love, which into the consciousness just as easy through a meta walk. And he'll he explains that really well. But um 
So that's what we're going to do. Um, he has done things like with, with Trump and like the UFO community. He's got, I mean, he's got so much, he has 40 years of billions of backwards speech that he's just done over and over and over again. And um, what's interesting is with his clients here recently, including my last two sessions um, a month ago, he kept finding all the stuff about Gaza and world war and, and, you know, that kind of shit. And Whoa. people were all saying it backwards, uh, backwards and not knowing. Well, I mean, it's like our spirit knew, or, I mean, I was so shocked because it kept, when he would show me what my stuff was backwards, I'm like, why am I talking about Gaza and Israel? And like, it didn't make any sense. And, um, and, but he was like, everybody is, we don't know what's going on yet. He said he found that out. Like there was people with the sea two years ago that that came through backwards when he was working with clients also nine 11. So that, anyway, he's going to address all that tomorrow. It's October to the 22nd is tomorrow at 2 PM central. It's only for our truth tribe members, but I can give you guys the link or actually Laura has it posted on her page. Um, I saw that. Yeah, it's only four nine four ninety nine to join, and you can cancel right after if you don't want to like stay as a member. But the people who do help us with membership, it does help to uh, you know production and all that stuff. We have like one hundred and ninety five episodes. We never take money or donations, but we really do solely rely on members to to do the production and the graphics and all the things that cost for us to to have these resources but uh, our members also get like free um giveaways i do biofeedback every month for, um, for free um you know we give away that we do little fun stuff sometimes i give away card decks or my books or things um and then we have all kinds of extra content that we don't publicize that's not public that's only for our members so uh, i think this is going to be the biggest one and um the more the merrier um mm -hmm. And we need every all hands on deck right now for this world meta love meditation. Um, we sure do. I mean, if there were ever if we ever needed it, the time is now, especially because people are talking about could this be the start of World War Three and what is really going on? And uh, the witch in the whirlwind. Wow. I mean, I it's amazing that you know the reverse speech you can hear like it's the subconscious talking it's so like hawaiian kahuna too when you think about it this is really fascinating i know well, he he's actually tested like babies animals um people with dementia or autism psychosis and like babies that aren't speaking yet that are just like sounds like gaga goo goo whatever kind of gibberish they're uh -huh. actually speaking in English backwards, saying like, hold me mama, I love you, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, dogs and cats are like saying, you know, give me water, I want to go outside, pick me up. You know, it's like, what? Why aren't we using this legally? I and mean, he has used it with the FBI, CIA, lots of court cases, OJ Simpson, you know, well, several things um, he has been a part of um, the... Uh, what was that murder case where the girl was pregnant and the guy killed her? Um, anyway, and, and even the um, recent stuff that came out with the dude that just was guilty and for the Holland thing for uh, Natalie Holloway. Yeah, he had all of that before. He had it. It was all I'm, in. Yes. He, so he, he can, do people admit their guilt when they, when he. Oh my God. Uh, I can tell you some people in the UFO community, I'm not going to name names that he did on our show that they basically backwards will say, this is a scam. I want your money. I hope this pays off. Uh, I'm a liar. <laughs> is that one not hard to figure out? I'm just going to ask. Oh my God. I'm not going to say okay. names. Um, all but right, all watch right. the show. Okay. You'll the names. He names all the names. He literally okay. names. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the show that's happening tomorrow or a no, show? The, the last show we had him on um the part two he he goes through a bunch of people in the ufo community and i didn't ask him to like that we just oh, had him name on. names oh he played the recordings he played the actual report recordings of Whoa. Of, of multiple people that you guys know their names um and have had things with um and i was like oh no wonder 
I felt that, or we kind of had a feeling because it's like, we are energetic. And even though we're not hearing, you know, you know, whenever, you know, like something's off and yeah, you feel it like right in here, like yeah. you feel it on a cellular level. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're like, I don't know why. And you almost feel guilty for feeling that way, you know, or at least I do. Sometimes I'm like, God, am I a bitch? Like, why don't I feel that why way don't I resonate with this? You know, mm-hmm. and everyone's like sending to me, oh, they're so awesome. And I'm like, I feel it in my body. And here it is that it's like true that I was picking up on that. And you know what? I wonder if we were actually all re- always meant to speak backwards, but then we were programmed in English. So maybe our first language is actually reverse speech, but then you know, we got into this program of, you know, earth language and um, inverted language I was gonna say like because inversion yeah yeah and when we're awakening we're actually like bringing out what's unconscious and bringing it to light just as we're doing that on the planet to to expose all that's been held in secrecy all the things that are going on you know in the world so I mean this is a major eclipse season all these plutonic energies and um moving into just oh my gosh Pluto going into Aquarius and it's a time of like major purging and cleansing and parasite release. Right. So, so let's kind of go into that because parasite cleansing is a multidimensional task, not just on a physical level, but like where there's entity attachments or archonic forces or negative dark technologies infecting our creative energy and our thoughts and our emotions. And you do a lot with all that Charnel. So talk to us about like parasite cleanse. Oh, yes. So November 7th, we are starting a campaign, a 21 day campaign for a group. It's a free group um, parasite cleanse and you don't have to pay anything. Um, You only have to order a product, which I have a link for. I can send that to you. Um, But the campaign is called fix your shit. I love that. (laughs) So, but why is it called fix your shit? Literally, figuratively, both. Is all it? of all of the above, because years right. ago when I really started diving into the whole parasite cleanse, just for me and my clients, mm-hmm. um, I always end our consultations with, you know, re- please report your miracles to me. Mm-hmm. And um, over and over and over and over when people would end their cleanse and they would, you know, show me their pictures or whatever, you know, we would obviously see that there were good results physically. Right. And cause we know parasites not only affect taking the nutrients from a person. So you don't have that energy that you normally would have. You don't feel necessarily good, but a lot of science um, contributes like the C word and a lot of big, big diseases in the body have mm-hmm. to do with parasites. Right. So that's just on a physical Um, But on a, on a spiritual or an electronic level, what I was seeing is people who would finish and complete a really deep cleanse started having crazy miracles. Like simultaneously, the mean neighbors next door would move or the, the terrible abusive husband would decide that he's done or it changes behavior or the brother that have you haven't spoken to in a decade all of a sudden calls um or just strange things um friends that were not great friends would leave or someone who was embezzling maybe was found out um things like that and here's why is you know we have our own energy we have a biofield four to five feet some people wider bigger you know the the higher the consciousness you are the wider range um, field you have, the aura, the bioelectric field, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, Dolphins have the unlimited field. Horses are 350 in their aura, 350 feet. So feet? Yeah. So you can drop up and be 350 feet away and your horse is all like, yay, she's coming. We're so excited. Like dogs are pretty big, you know, um, but our, I've measured some people up to 21 feet. Mm-hmm. Um, How do you measure? How do you do that? Muscle testing. We do muscle testing or scalar waves um, to oh, wow. find that out. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what I found out is, uh, as you know, you mm-hmm. know, the, the information of the field 
is I'm just spit everywhere. The information of the field is um, made up of what we're thinking about, what we're talking about, what we're feeling, right? Bio field is two bio. So it radiates out, but it also magnetizes, right? So part of the uh, other part of what is in the information field has to do with projections of the liver, the heart, you know, the lungs, the bones, we all, everything has a projection. So if you have a weak liver or a liver that needs support that'll go as a projection and it can be an area where maybe parasites would go first um or wow. disease could go first so um parasites are their own separate entity and when you have parasites or if a person has parasites not only will the host feel very very confused because of all the energy and the sound and their thoughts their thought forms um, but, you know, think of parasites, pair mm -hmm. of sites. So you can get very confused. You could feel like not really have the ability to make decisions easily. Because you, you know? lose your vision, maybe because it's sight. It's like it's is that what you mean? Like pair of sights? Meaning or? like clarity of direction or vision. To, OK, to so be able to envision things clear. Uh, um, okay. It's like a you know, a double be and even being double minded of being like, well, I like this, but I also like that. So what do I do? And just not being able to make decisions and what have you. So it can cloud and fog up. Uh, it takes away your mental, it takes away your, your physical energy, your nutrients mm -hmm. can cause disease, but also they have their own projection. Mm -hmm. And when they project into the field, what they're projecting is, Hey, this person is a really good host. And I am taking advantage of this person as a predator, as a parasite. And so, so, so you send out victim energy. Yeah. You yourself yeah. send out victim energy because you have become a victim to these things that are parasites that are like, yeah, guess what? I made her a victim. So come on in. It's like, it's a free for all basically. Yes. And that opens the door to assholes and abusers and embezzlers and people take advantage and people having trouble being able to say no and have good boundaries, boundaries or yeah. boundaries crossed. Even when someone's really, really firm, it's uh -huh. like, no, because there's a subconscious frequency going on, going like, even though you're up here and you're very, you have a high willpower and you're like, no, I'm not doing this. And you have great boundaries that thing says otherwise, and it lets in entities that come in and do it anyway. And so you could be like, you know, all the things, but these things keep happening. And it's like, why does it keep happening to me? It's like, oh, well, maybe I need to do a parasite cleanse. When we rid that energy and they die and you don't want to just want to have them dead. You want to have an exit system to make sure they dissolve and leave. Um, but when they get out, um, you have a sovereign, victorious frequency that is going out. That's basically like, don't F with me. I am awesome. I'm victorious. I am sovereign, you know, um, and nothing can come in on an energetic level because entity, entities come in at 25 or less. What do you mean 25 or less? On scale, on scalar waves. Um, okay. you know, so a thousand know. is the highest and okay. like 50 is where like Biden and Gates and some of those people are, uh, you know, uh, Elon Musk and Putin and uh, Trump actually are in like 400s. 500 is love. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, you know, you could be in a different scale of consciousness, um, but entities are at 25 and less. Death is zero or 20. It starts at 25 and goes less. Mm -hmm. So, so entities and parasites are 25. That's really, really low. And it's basically like a key to unlock in your field to come in and like an invitation to f with you you know or not you but people so when we clear that we're we're locking the door we're we are like sovereign and we're we're radiating like the sun of love and whatever and, it, and i look at it like the sun is out mm -hmm. you know um you can be mad at the sun you could throw rocks at the sun you could have whatever with the sun but the sun's gonna blaze the blood, the, the sun doesn't give a shit if you're pissed off at them, you know, or him or her or whatever. Um, but a sponge, on the other hand, takes in everything. So we can be like a sponge and take it in, or we can just blaze. And no matter what comes, it just bounces, you know, That's and, right. 
So yeah, we, we want to do a group cleanse and I'm especially wanting to do it in the month of November on purpose because people tend to eat worse in the winter. Um, there's less vitamin D more opportunity for immunity issues. Um, but also we got Halloween, Thanksgiving, all the parties, stuff with Christmas, you know, people start to get more alcohol, more sweets, more carbs, you know, oops. So it kind of can mess up your physical. Um, mm -hmm. So we're doing it from the first to the 21st. I mean, the seventh to the 21st. So we can get our bodies ready for the winter too, to really, you know, beef up our immunity and be you know strong and well um, for not just what's going on in winter, but what could possibly be going on on a global scale. So we, we want to be sovereign all the time. I love this. You know what I love about this? First of all, the fact that there is a clear before and after. Yes. Right? And you could go from victim to victor. Like I was saying earlier, I wrote a book called Cancer Vixen because I never wanted to be like a victim. And I just never, you know, the whole vic victim consciousness and I, this, but I just love that this is like victor consciousness. This is like, you know, humanity wins and there's a before and after. And so I just wanted to know, I mean, I think this is amazing. And the fact that it, this is free and it's a group parasite cleanse. I mean, I feel like the more people do this, the better off the planet is. Yes, 100%. We can get a lot of people doing this. Micro macro connection. I mean, it's like yeah. we have to win the war within ourselves and we're yes. bad parasites. And it's yeah. everything about our thoughts because the AI and everything, you know, it's the vibratory frequency of uh, all of yeah. it. Yeah, this is everything. So I just want to know, how does, how, how do the parasites come in in the first place and is there any way anything we could do to block them you That's know because question. we're all going to do this cleanse right everybody we're doing this cleanse <laughs> we need to do this cleanse but you know after we do the cleanse or like protect how do we protect ourselves from parasites yes yeah, so That's uh your diet is good you know like if you do a lot of plant-based food you know just make sure you're really cleaning it up you know, and using cleaning things to clean, not just like water, but um, there's different things that I could suggest to make sure. And because a lot of people, like I just went to an OBGYN a few weeks ago and she was just like, well, how would you have parasites? Because were, were you in a foreign country or something? And I'm like, you don't have to go to a foreign country to get a parasite. I've actually told people, you know, when we tested them that they had parasites and they didn't even want the consultation after that, I'm so sorry, my dog keeps doing that. Can you take her, put her outside, please? Um, they, um, there, there's a lot of ideas that people think you can only get it if you have animals or you can only get it if you have been to Africa or something, you know, I don't know, but it's in the ground. It's in the food. It's in pretty much everything. What's well, the inverted matrix? I mean, we're a, a parasitic system. Yeah. Uh, that wants us to have a codependency bond because it feeds on us and this whole siphoning and harvesting thing is very much the programming within the matrix so it shows up in everything and everywhere because it relies on us it needs to feed on us you know so it's amazing how it's everywhere so just in doing this to me is how we crush new world order and all this so Keep yeah, going. we love crushing the new world order. So we're all down with the cleanse. <laughs> but is this also part of like the arconic forces that we talk about all the time? Like, I mean, that's like a physical, like the parasites you're talking about are physical, but also mental too, because oh it's a atmosphere, right? Oh my so gosh. The arconic energy that we can get just by, I don't know, like the false flags and the psyops of just yeah like throwing us into that lower frequency down yeah, to the television five, yeah. right fear yeah. survival fight or flight just it's like what comes through our devices and from the news and all the you know yeah. makes us hosts and very vulnerable yeah like, yeah like matrix tv matrix news matrix food every, you know all that matrix shit right absolutely absolutely Yep. And we have a chance to take back the responsibility. We are response able. I love and, that. And it, you know, it, everything is free will and choice. 
And right. so if we decide, you know, we cannot control other people, but right. we can control this, we control ourselves. And, you know, it, it just puts people back in, you know, in, in the, the captain's chair to, to really create your own life the way you choose, instead of letting things happen to you, um, we, we can clear whatever and get a, a new outcome, get a new miracle, get a miraculous life where things are a little easier, a little uh, fun, you know, where, where you're collecting partners that are giving to you, uh, friends that are giving to you, friends that are, that are at least partnership, like the real word partnership, instead of this like parasitical relationship. So or like Laura said, codependent, you know, there's a right. lot of that too, right? Yeah. So, I mean, this is so interesting because it's like when you shift what's in your body and in your field, everything else shifts because it's all energy and frequency. So truth frequency, right? Yeah. So it, really, it's, it makes sense. I mean, it totally makes sense when you think about it. I really. The, like the other it. thing is how you can tell if you have parasites uh -huh. is number one, if you have like crazy, crazy um, chaotic life. It could be a part of that. Um, also, people tend to like clench. If you grind your teeth or clench through the day, that's usually a big indication that there's parasites. Of course, there's tests that you can do too, but some things you just can tell by like, you know, yeah. I've been there where I'm like, why am I clenching? You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I ugh, definitely. I grind my teeth. <laughs> Yeah, like <laughs> so. Wow. It's just like stress and this and that, but I mean, that is a parasite, right? It's like there's no reason to be like stressed. I mean, we have to catch ourselves all the time because it shows up in all sorts of ways, and it's a part of this, you know, greater transformation. Because yeah, I mean, we're we're inevitably gonna like run into all of it, and. We, we just don't want to form an agreement to it where it sucks us dry. Like if we can acknowledge it, it's, it's a part of our growth in a way, because um, I don't know, like the whole cycle of transformation is to acknowledge like what frequency is it getting in on? What is that trigger? What is that thought form? What is that reason? You know, it's just, that's what I love about you because you're so holistic. You really treat the whole person and, you know, understanding the frequencies. And I just have to say, you know, Dr. Lucky, you, you oh, did a recent right. event with him and you introduced me to him. And that was probably one of the most mind blowing interviews I've ever done. And I'm so glad that you uh, connected us and I've been referring him to all sorts of people. Um, talk to us a little bit about your relationship with him and, and the way he operates and yeah, well, I actually interned underneath him when I became, uh, he's one of the reasons I became a doctor. Um, I was actually super way. sick. What's up? Who is Dr. Lucky? Uh, Dr. Lucky, his name is Dr. Thomas Lucky. He's in Mississippi. He's my personal doctor, um, our family doctor, even though I live in Louisiana and Montana half the time, I make sure if I have an issue, that's who I'm going to, because I don't care if I have to drive or do whatever. Um, why waste your time on people who aren't going to get to the root issue. He's an MD, but he has all these cool machines, which now I have most of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all the fun things. Um, you know, we have like a frequency wand. That's amazing. Um, that's more portable, but there's a, uh, not kind of med bed type um, technology ish, you know, all frequency stuff. Um, and then infrared sauna, red light therapy, hyperbaric chamber, PMFs, you know, um, we, we both have tons of stuff like that. And so that's one of the reasons why I was like, wow, I want to have everything you have. Um, but he, he does a lot of mu muscle testing. Every consultation is extremely customized to the person and you will be there like four to six hours your first time. It's not one of those like you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, get out, give me your money, like, give me your insurance card, buy, and then you still don't know what's going on, or you just got some more medicine to take, you know, he's like going to test all your medicine, he's going to go in uh, and really see why, and like for me, I mean, it's really tricky how he does things, uh, he's, work, he's very intuitive, 
Mm-hmm. Um, and so when he was testing me, like, for example, I had a fourth child, a fourth miscarriage, and it was um, a boy, and I had named him Samuel. And, you know, I'd gone in to um, to kind of get some help and support to find out, well, why am I having these miscarriages and what have you? And so he pinpoints and he says, um, your mom on your grandma or your, your grandma or your, your your mom's mom um had a fourth child that you're trying to carry out um you know pick up the program and I'm like what are you talking about and he's like doesn't your grandmother do you know your grandmother is she living did she have four children and I'm like no she had three children and he was like you know she had four children and the fourth one was a boy and I was just like what and so I called my mom She's the youngest of three. She's like, no, there's only four. So I call my grandma in Montana and she's like, she admits that she had a fourth child that had passed like the day after it was born or the day of, and the kids didn't even know. And it was a boy named Samuel. Wow. What? Wow. Yeah. So he has done this like over and over and over and over again, where it's just like, and he does it all through muscle testing. Like my body had my had recorded that because mm-hmm. I was in my grandmother's you know I was an egg in my mom mm-hmm. my mom was had all her eggs at five months in my grandmother right so mm-hmm. my grandmother carried me right I don't know if you know all the science of that but I don't when, understand the science of that so maybe so, like mitochondrial DNA is that yeah all that- the eggs that you will ever ever have so if i was pregnant right now with a right. girl right and she okay. was five and i was five months pregnant that girl would have all the eggs she'll ever have already in her as a as a five-month-old baby okay so therefore i'm carrying my five-month-old baby but i'm also carrying all the eggs of my daughter's off could be offspring okay so anytime, and plus, if you do any science, um, they've done autopsies on women and every child you've ever carried is still stored in the body, whether it passed or lived. And every partner you've ever slept with is also carried in the body forever. So when we do inner work and it feels effing hard, mm-hmm. it's because we're not just doing it for us. We're doing it for everything within us every offspring, every partner, if you feel that resistance is because you're doing it for many. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we have such this mentality that we got to fix him. We got to fix her. We got to change our kids. And it's like, dude, this is an inside job. I talk about this a lot in my book, on one of my books, the science of miracles, everything is an inside job. It's not That's an not outside. Right. We go right. inside, we fix us. And as we continue to fix us, just like you said, we're fixing the world. And that is, mm-hmm. and the wow. offspring, the partners, and how that mm-hmm. impacts like everything. I love that, and also love that you say we we are response able. Yes, that I feel is- like the Earth responds to us. You know, when we clear our inner elementals of all the toxicity, we we assist the planet in clearing the waters and the air and the you know Earth of all the contaminants and toxins. Like the, the relationship we have with all of it. And everything is like so huge. It's like I agree. I agree. Why I say we win the war within. Yeah, we do because when we shift, we shift everything around us, and then we invite the good in. And it's a love story within ourselves to to not be a false partner, parasite, not partner, but with Uh the love, like we, you know. And and this is really what you're doing. Um, and what we're doing is is breaking those relationships that um are so you know destructive cutting those cords so that we can yeah realign with that higher frequency yeah yeah it's kind of like the kahunas you know cutting the aka cords yeah you know? yeah but you're doing it with the parasites i mean yeah and i just think this it's so fascinating and i think like it would be what can you imagine if the whole world did your group a parasite cleanse? What if we all did a parasite cleanse? We should all do it. And then a meta walk. If we did do the meta walk, 
and really clear the consciousness. By the way, I will tell you, if you go to like the app store, you can find reverse speech like apps. And I've been playing around with it a lot. Like when I've been stumped and I'm like, I'm not sure what to do. I just record myself forward and the app will play it backwards. You could slow it down, speed it up, change the pitch. And you will find little nuggets. Usually about every 10 seconds, you can hear a forward message uh, if you're authentic. Now, if you are recording like a staged kind of speech, like Mr. T, um, he just goes by the seat of the pants. He doesn't go by notes. He doesn't, you know, he's not reading a teleprompter. He's just like going for it. And we, you can pick up a ton of stuff that he says. And he's the most congruent person that David has ever tested forward and backwards, which some people don't want to hear that. I don't get them just being honest. It's science. Whatever he says forward, he's usually saying the same damn thing backwards. Like it is like very authentic and very congruent. There's no effing around where a lot of these people are saying all kinds of shit forward, but backwards they're saying, you know, I'm a scam and I, you know, things about Satan and things about blood and eating kids and like really terrible things um, that we have all kind of had hints about. But again, we haven't been able to like put our finger on like, well, what's off about these people, you know? And then, it, but the, it says it, it says it right there and, and you could hear it. Um, so I've been playing around with it just for my own self because I want to, um, I want to know what I need to do. And in your inner voice, your higher self, your subconscious has all the answers. It's all inside. Yeah. It's, it's just, you know, finding it and remembering it. You know, I always like say, you know, when we remember, we remember we're a member of consciousness. Yes. yes that's my favorite. That's, that's part of my book. Remembering the frequency of love. Is oh my really gosh. That's so, you remember. say remember. I said that in one of my books too. That's so funny. I feel like we're all connected. Must be. I know. Yeah, I think like upgrading in the face of adversity and like the whole concept of like giving our power away or creating mm -hmm. from the outside in versus the inside out right it's like that's the parasiticness is getting hooked into something like something grabbed created energy yeah. and then all of a sudden you're enabling it because you're believing in it and it's the infection of how the mind control like you know it, 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 it's the parasitic relationship to the story that you believe in and that you end up embodying embodying and manifesting but and literally embodying literally yeah yeah. Yeah. And, yeah yeah and we don't have to agree to that because we, we're constantly giving birth to concepts and ideas that's part of our creative energy and and we can discern like what we want to bring in that isn't like parasitic that isn't feeding, you know, into a artificial timeline and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. I love this because this is so empowering and yes. there is like a clear before and after and, and it's like you take the power back within yourself it's and empowering. Yes, exactly. Empowering. Empowering. Exactly. And when when you think of like, response able. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I work with a lot of people all the time. I do like coaching and try to help people figure out like where the snags are. Like maybe it's something in their speech. Maybe it's something, you know, we give away things in body language and speech. And I can usually figure out like what the snag is pretty quick and then get them on a different path with where they it's a different mantra or different belief system or whatever. So we started creating something in a more positive way instead of things happening to us, they're happening for us because even pain and everything that goes on, um, that's just a mirror to come back to you and go, Hey, there's more work to do. And so if we could just have gratitude about the shitty things that are going on, and I'm speaking to myself too, because this is a good reminder for me, all coaching is self-coaching. When we see something that we don't like, if we hate it, whatever we resist, we get more of. Mm -hmm. But if we could just be like, you know what? Thank you for showing me that I have not, I mean, I wouldn't say it out loud to whoever the abuser is or the person, the perpetrator, but mentally you could just be like, you know what? Thanks. And send love. And then like, go back and go, what does it, what did I do to create this? What, 
what's in my language what's in my belief system what's in my body maybe i'm maybe it is a parasite thing that that brought this to me because again we can only get what we are so if you choose to be victorious and sovereign then you get you get hardcore sovereign and i mean even like alcohol and things like that your diet like you know um entities for alcohol is is also 25 so that's a key Mm-hmm. That, that the door is open now you know and i'm not saying i don't drink i've i've had drink i have not drank in a week and i'm just testing this to see <laughs> like no glasses of wine or anything i'm like let's see if we can shift this up i i'm curious and i i test myself and i say like maybe things can change up and but i really am going to be you know hardcore with this parasite thing and i am excited to see miracles everywhere happening when when we get finished, I I'm I'm gonna record and keep record of every single thing that comes in, and I want to know like what all shifted because of that. And I am believing and hoping that we we see something really tangible, even on a global consciousness level, um, as we work together and play together. Let's like one let's have fun with it instead of making it hard and work. You know, like I like we don't. We have to do this. No, we want to do it. It's yeah, fun. It's, it's like, fun. Make it yeah. fun and easy. Ending to the temple. No vandals allowed. Yeah. <laughs> you know? exactly. We're bouncers and guardians on the outside walls of the temple. Only the things that we are in agreement to are allowed to enter. Um, I mean, we, we, we can just really take this command of our lives and it's going to change everything. So it's just tremendous, you know, what you're doing and, and this event tomorrow and just this flow of inspiration is just this these are the times i'm really inspired by this by you seriously inspired so think about that in spirit inspired oh. yeah. Inspiratus. yep yes yeah, so, Latin. yeah i hope we can do this together i'll send you guys the link um um I basically have a private Facebook group for mm-hmm. everyone who wants to attend. And, okay. Um, all you got to do is show me a screenshot of that you already have the product and or the, the product has been ordered. It starts the seventh, and today is what the twenty second or first or whatever. So we have time to still order and get it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm using this specific product on purpose because I I know it tests well. There's a lot of things that don't test well. I test all my supplements, and oh my gosh. Bird Bees has been bought out. Tom's has been bought out. Um, no. Nature Sunshine has been bought out. Um, did you know that Bragg's has been bought yes, out? Yes, I know. Years? Katy Perry. Yes. Yeah. yes. A lot yeah. of the, all the green juice stuff has been bought out by Coca-Cola. Nestle bought out the supplement Pure, which is one of the highest standard, you know, supplements as a naturopath that I use. And now I'm freaking Nestle bought them. Like they're changing wow. formulations. They're putting all kinds of shit in there and i'm like why do i have all this stuff and it's testing bad now it used to test really well and then i go back and find out it was bought out so i'm I'm being very specific with why i'm using this product because i know that it tests very very well and i've seen results with it can Um, you tell us what the product is is, i'll just give you a link it might be easier but yeah yeah but but the only reason why is because i don't want you to get it on amazon or ebay yeah um because they have we have bought them from eBay and Amazon and it's not the same quality. Um, mm-hmm. They're putting in a, bu- they're taking the bottles and redoing stuff, not only with oils, and, but with supplements is they're tampering with it. And they're, you know, it, it doesn't end up, there's lawsuits about it actually. So I want to make sure that you get it from the right place okay, uh, and that it won't be tampered with and nothing's, you know, messed with. We want to get quality stuff here. And make sure what's going on with the body works with it. Wow, that's really important. I mean, especially you brought up Bragg's and you know I love Bragg's. Why did you I do love that? Bragg's? And yeah, it was sold. They were friends, the Bragg family's friends with Katy Perry. And and this is their like, they don't change it. Yeah, I, because even Jordan Rubin had a really good line. He mm-hmm. sold his company. They reformulated all that. I mean, they just keep selling it to like Coca-Cola and Nestle and all these people that, you know, don't give shit. Oh, but about. But why would something that is all about healing allow a parasitic corporation to infect their healing product? I mean, like 
money just it's just it's it's wild when there's a product that seems to be the antithesis of the thing that bought it out um i i that they need a parasite cleanse (laughs) yeah they do i feel like the whole world needs a parasite cleanse but like even you chocolate hu i heard they were bought really that's i did hear that wow yeah yeah, Tom's um, Tom's toothpaste was bought out. Yeah, it, it just yeah, we just have to be super discerning, more discerning than ever, on everything we're putting inside our body. Everything. I mean, I think the best thing if to do if we can is like I was making my own toothpaste at one point. I yeah yeah like coconut yeah. oil. deodorant toothpaste. Yeah everything your own detergent and then i heard toilet paper did you hear about this oh yeah like toilet paper has like a ton of chemicals so (sighs) we gotta like get organic toilet paper when you think about it it's like that's like a very sensitive area and like chemicals go right in i mean that makes sense because i know like the female products um are pretty bad and that's what's a lot of cancer causing um with you know the reproductive area um when mm-hmm. people use tampons and pads and things like that they're I, I think it's like, like the salts are so important for like the parasites and the chemicals and all that like the epsom salts and parasites don't like that because yes. it's, i mean we don't want to live like paranoid about every little thing that touches our body because we are you know, strong and we are able to transmute and all this kind of stuff. I mean, but we're just being hit from every angle. Yeah. But I think I I agree. I think though, the more we know, the more empowered we are and the more protected, self-protected. You don't want to support things that have like sold out. It's just just sellouts. Uh, No. And we can learn to make these things ourselves. And, you know, there's all sorts of really great ways to, um, you know, what do you, what are your thoughts on like zeolites and bentonite clay and, you know, all the things that can trap and remove charcoal. Yeah. Yeah. And grow we your have own that food. on our side. Yeah. Grow your own and have, and have green a food. garden. So you're not getting pesticides and herbicides and, you know, nature has everything we need to overcome mm-hmm. these toxic attacks, but our essential thoughts- oils. Yeah. Our What's thoughts that? are everything. It's amazing how our thoughts are so linked into. Um, yeah. Sorry, what was that, Marissa? No, I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I agree with you. Our thoughts are connected. I was just also said essential oils too. Oh, yeah. I- oh my gosh. Yeah, there's some bad ones. Oh, speaking of, I have actually tested some companies that had semen, urine, feces, and blood in them. So, to, I mean, because I know that you're, you work with essential oils. Yes. So, do you guys? Why in the world would there be semen, urine, feces, and blood in the bottles? Why would there be? Because they because don't. Because it's a, there's a if you have DNA, yeah. what do they do in rituals? Oh Those my are the God. main things they use in rituals. So basically, if you consent and you buy it and then you put it on your body, then you that is a contract, and they have direct a direct line to you these oils that if you put them on your skin especially which a lot of them have propylene glycol which is terrible that's antifreeze um but some of them are even more sinister and what's sad is they're selling this to like spiritual people christians you know whatever you know people who are god people you know and they're thinking they're doing healthy things and right things and putting it on and diffusing it and breathing that in and really they've now consented to buying it. And then there's a direct, the whole reason why they do that is because it's a DNA connection where they need that DNA connection. And that's why they, you know, the rituals. Um, oh my God. We don't drop in that lower frequency because we we can like match a frequency, you know, if, if we ingest something or we're around a certain person with a low energy, we can like match that energy and be, sunken down to a lower vibration that's why there's so much of the divide and conquer and like you know Mm -hmm. just kind of dragging us down into that but if we really hold our sovereignty and we really hold a higher frequency then we can 
shift that vibration, just like when we bless food, right? Like we can yes. change the frequency yeah. of that, whatever that is. But, right. but the, the problem is, is vulnerable people might notice their mood shifts or they all of a sudden have anxiety or they're like not functioning at their best because they don't realize these subliminal and subtle ways that these frequencies and energies get into themselves. But as long as, you know, a person can override it and be mindful, you know, at least we have the power, you know, of our mind, but um, we need to arm ourselves by just not putting so much of an overload upon ourselves. Cause I know like a lot of us, we just, just sometimes don't know what has overcome us. We can mm -hmm. feel like, Oh, I'm really awakened. And I, I know it's all about thoughts and energy, but you know, you eat something or watch something and your energy drops and it's like, Oh my God. Well, and you could be picking up on the backward speech of the person or the TV right. show or the radio. I mean, I've wondered too, if but like, you, and then it's like, yeah, sorry. What? Yeah. I've wondered too, if even like people who are psychic or, um, you know, whatever, that maybe they're just really good at backward speech and interpreting backward speech on a, a subconscious level and that they know these things. Like, for example, the other day uh, I was outside and I, I said something like, hey, can you, to my daughter, I was like, can you pass me that thing or whatever? And then she said, um, do you want to go to Chick-fil-A after we're finished or whatever? And I was like, I was just about to ask you that. And I'm pretty sure if you would have tested me, I probably, when I said, pass me that thing, really said, do you want to go to Chick-fil-A? And then she was actually saying, hey, you want to go to Chick-fil-A? You know what I mean? Like, so, because I've heard recordings where even us talking, um, where there's group conversations, like I said, where we're going forward, but we're also having this other conversation amongst us that's that's backwards so maybe psychics and or spiritual people or people who are really in tune are really right-brained and can really pick up on what's going on globally what's going on in a room um yeah. you know and just being able to really tap into that and feed it back you know maybe i mean i wonder if like reverse speech works in television you know i mean oh it does like television yeah. yeah half of the stuff if you go to his uh, youtube channel or his facebook page he's got clips of like campaign things and um interviews advertising and tv shows and the news and yeah. the media. all yeah. of it he does it every day so you can go every day and look to see what he's he every day he does current events and posts it and it's like what some, well, some of the things that people are saying backwards is so revealing. Wow. Mm -hmm. So fascinating. Yeah. This has been quite enlightening, I have to say. I know. It's always amazing to talk <laughs> to you. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> well, well, I had fun with you guys today. Thanks for Yeah, me. well, more yeah. to come. Yeah, just so, so just to wrap it up, remind us again about tomorrow and anything else you'd like to share that we haven't covered today. Okay. Well, tomorrow, um, it is Sunday, the 22nd at 2 PM central. Um, the link is on my page on Facebook. It's on my YouTube as well. Um, again, it's four 99 to be a member. Um, and even if you don't want to be a member or stay a member, just don't be a member after that. If you just want to participate in this one event, um, the campaign for fix your shit, you can also mm -hmm. find on my website on, or actually on my Facebook pages, my Instagram, all that kind of stuff. There's links there to order the product to be able to get in. Once you order the product, if you could just send me a screenshot that you ordered it, then I will give you a link to the Facebook group and then we'll, you know, be there for November 7th. Um, you could go to my website, drsharnell.com, where I have, you know, coaching, I have, um, consultations for health. I do biofeedback remote. Everything is remote. You don't have to mm -hmm. be here in person, um, where I could send frequency. We do diagnostics, um, 30 reports on like back, um, teeth, um, hormones, EKGs, EEGs, uh, electrical sensitivities, psychic attack, emotions, um, today's stress, different organs. Like we look at everything and then we get the frequencies that you need 
and customize them, send them back to you. So you could already get the ball rolling. But then if you do the consultation with me, I can go over as a naturopath, some things to implement on your practice, you know, just to anchor in the frequencies that we send you. Um, mm -hmm. I do soul audits. I have all my books there. I have tons of teachings, online teachings and um, like kind of guided uh, classes that you could take. And of course my show is every Thursday at noon. Um, the podcast is, um, the truth matters and, um, it's on YouTube and everything we have, like, like I said, I think I'm hundred and almost 200 episodes now. Um, but yeah. yeah, I, I love you guys and I've been stalking you for a while. I'm so glad I finally got to kind of meet you. Laura and I, of course, go way back, but it's been fun and a treat because, you know, we kind of go back and forth on Facebook, but I've not ever, you know, like talked to you really. So not like this anyway. I know I was really, I was really looking forward to this because I'm such a fan. I just think you're amazing. And, you know, I actually was said to Laura, can we please, please, please talk to Jardel? So, so yeah, I mean. We've corresponded, you know. Oh, but no, we were talking about that. Like I, I was bringing it up. My gosh, Charnel is just. Phew. Yeah. Well, I love you. We just had our anniversary, um, Laura. I think how many years has it been now? I don't even know. But time flies, right? It's so weird how we even met, but um, I think it's really cool. And I just love both of you so much. I love your work so much. Wow. I appreciate your service to the, the whole world to, well, actually beyond the worlds. I thank you very, very, very much. And yeah. just love your pure heart, both of your pure hearts. And, um, I love just playing with y'all. So anytime. Yeah. Anytime okay. Well, we got to do this again for sure. And a lot. <laughs> I'll have to get both of you on my show. Like, okay. And we'll do something that would be, fun. That yeah. would be great. I mean, when I first, um, started talking with you I was like well I'm a friend of Laura's <laughs> so <laughs> anyway. yeah it's like you guys have known each other forever it's just that it just all feels so familiar and we're just it's amazing to be with my soul sisters divine mother earth time everybody awesome. <laughs> fun. Awesome. well thank you so much thank you thank you, for all you do. thank you love you guys you guys love, love you Laura love you Chanel you all too. right next time we'll see you bye bye